Oh, my God. 
अयोध्यावासी राम दशरथ नंदन राम जान की जीवन राम जय राम राम राम
श्रीराम कृष्ण भगवान की जय From untruth, O Lord, lead me to truth. From death, lead me to immortality. From darkness of ignorance, lead me to immortality of knowledge. Revered Pravrajka Ishtaprana Mataji, respected elders and dear sisters and brothers, Om Namo Narayanaya. On this day of the new moon, when the sky is at its darkest during the lunar month of Kartik, the festival of Diwali celebrates light and the triumph of good over evil. Diwali may be one festival, but it certainly enchants with its many fascinating stories and sacred mythology. The most popular story associated with Diwali is the joyous return of Lord Ram to Ayodhya following 14 years of exile and after defeating the demon king Ravan. During this exile, the wicked king Ravan of Lanka abducted Mother Sita and after a lengthy quest, Lord Ram finally vanquished Ravan and saved Mother Sita. In a cheerful celebration of this victory and the return of their king, the people of Ayodhya rejoiced by illuminating the kingdom with clay dias, distributing scrumptious sweets, and by setting off colorful firecrackers, a tradition still followed by many. Another incident closely associated with the celebration of Diwali relates to Sri Krishna's mighty triumph over Narakasura, a greedy, power-hungry, and wicked asura. After a ferocious battle, Lord Krishna successfully vanquished the demon and freed the world from tyranny. The third incident relates to the return of the Pandava brothers from their 12 years of banishment. We read in the Mahabharata how the Kauravas unfairly defeated the Pandava brothers at a game of dice by cheating. Those subjects who loved the Pandavas dearly celebrated the day by lighting earthen lamps. Next is a story of Mother Lakshmi's divine manifestation. When the gods and asuras were churning the ocean to derive the sweet nectar of immortality, Mother Lakshmi appeared, seated on a beautiful lotus, dressed in a red silk sari and bedecked in gold. She was a very embodiment of affluence, auspiciousness, and prosperity. As she rose, the sweet nectar began flowing in every direction. The earth pulsated with life and joy filled the air. Diwali is also indeed associated with the worship of the divine mother in the form of Kali. When Chandika Devi battles with different demons, Mother Kali emanates from her forehead. As her origin is associated with the third eye, she represents the intellectual and intuitive faculties. Ma Kali destroys the lower self to obtain progressively higher levels of knowledge. While these stories paint beautiful pictures, they all have a common thread: the triumph of good over evil, light over darkness, or knowledge over ignorance. Diwali celebrates triumphs and new beginnings. For we all fight a battle against our lower nature and aspire to live the ideal life of righteousness and harmony. In Vedanta, the message of darkness to light is especially apt during Diwali, when homes and places of worship are lit with myriads of lamps. The lamp is a symbol of illumination. Just as a lamp illumines, only the knowledge of God can illuminate our hearts ignorance is a cause of all pain and misery that we experience the highest and best knowledge is the knowledge of god which fills us with peace the lamp also symbolizes the light within the soul or atman during diwali we should fill our hearts with the oil of love 
light the wick with the knowledge of truth and ward off darkness of ignorance this lamp of knowledge can burn constantly if we are truthful pure and selfless it is only through the power of prayer that we can truly attain the knowledge of god as shri ramakrishna says sunlight is one and the same wherever it falls but only a bright surface like that of water or of a mirror reflects it fully so is the light divine it falls equally and impartially on all hearts but the pure and pious hearts of holy men receive and reflect that light well the pandemic has truly tested our collective strength of character as we have had to overcome trials and tribulations as individuals communities and as a nation our world today is at crossroads while charity to help the poor and needy is increasing it is disconcerting to see the rise of violence corruption and other expressions of the world's ill health is there among the gloomy cloudiness any shiny ray of hope let me narrate a story once four candles were burning the atmosphere was so calm and peaceful that one could almost hear the candles talking the first candle said i am peace The world is full of anger and fighting. Nobody can keep me lit. Then the flame of peace went out gradually. The second second candle said, "I am faith. I am no longer indispensable. It does not make any difference whether I stay or go." Just then a gentle breeze blew softly, and faith's flame slowly faded away. The third candle then spoke. I am love. People do not understand my importance, so they simply put me aside. They even forget to love those closest to them and care about them. Love's flame also went out. Suddenly, a child entered the room and saw the three unlit candles and exclaimed, "Why are you not burning?" You are supposed to be burning brightly until the end. Saying so, the child began to cry. Then the fourth candle answered, "Don't be afraid, child. I and hope. While I am still burning, we can ignite the other candles." With shining eyes, the child took the candle of hope and lit the other candles. With hope, each of us can live with peace. love and faith but the flame of hope should never go out of our lives when we have hope we t- we can succeed despite the world's challenges god is always with us and certainly helps those who make an attempt at progress swami vivekananda says wherever there has been expansion in love or progress and well-being of individuals or numbers It has been through the perception, realization, and the practical and the practicalization of the eternal truth, the oneness of all beings. It is true that with regular and consistent effort on the spiritual path, we step closer to realizing that supreme truth and banishing the ego. We should remember that we are only the player in an orchestra of life. and that the divine force is the conductor all we have to do is align with the conductor and play our piece to the best of our ability not understanding this we want to change the script and ruin the harmony with spiritual practice and discipline ego and desire vanish in the light of wisdom once we realize our true nature we will transcend from untruth to truth from darkness to light and from mortality to immortality in the bhagavad gita shri krishna says that out of the compassion for the devotees he residing within their hearts destroys the darkness born of ignorance with a radiant lamp of knowledge in the gospel of shri ramakrishna 
the master sings melodiously. Light up, O mind, light up. True wisdom, shining lamp, and let it burn with steady flame, unceasingly in your heart. This Diwali, may we all remove the darkness of ignorance from our hearts by lighting the lamp of wisdom and nurturing it to burn brightly. Wishing everyone a delightful Diwali. Hariyom Tatsat. Namaste Kalyan Guna Virama Sita Mukham Baruha Chancharika Nirantara Mangala Nayaka Jai Raghunandan, 
blessed and joyous Diwali. During these past two years, many people have been experiencing difficult challenges. So, how do we enjoy the festival of Diwali? When we take refuge in God and pray to Him, He fills us with strength. We feel the Lord's compassion through the many people who have been offering their support and sharing in the sorrows of others. As Sri Sharda Devi says, difficulties come, but they do not last forever. You will see that they pass away like water under a bridge. In spite of challenges, we have to go forward. By having faith, courage, and determination, we can progress. Sri Ramakrishna says, the wind of God's grace is blowing incessantly. Take advantage of this and we must go forward. Our revered Guruji used to say, when there is a long jump competition, you see how the athletes go 10 to 20 steps backwards, run to the line and then take a long jump. Similarly, challenges allow us to take big steps forward, especially if we have faith in ourselves and in God. New avenues open and one becomes aware of one's hidden strength, talents and potentials. Many people were thrown into the deep end after living comfortable lives with their families. They now have to bring up their children as single parents. It is not easy, but they realize their capabilities become strong and make progress. The children too grow up to be responsible and are empowered to take correct decisions. All Hindu festivals remind us about God seated in our hearts. It is good to reflect on the meaning of the enlightening prayer chanted by everyone. Asatoma sat gamaya, Tamasoma joti gamaya, Mrityorema amritam gamaya, Om shanti, shanti, shanti. Means, O oh Lord, lead us from untruth to truth. From darkness of ignorance, O Lord, lead us to the light of knowledge and from death to immortality. Diwali is the exclusive festival when everyone lights lamps. The lamps are symbolic of knowledge. Without light, we cannot see our way clearly. Knowledge gives us insight and allows us to act correctly. The sun, which is an amazing power of God, illumines the whole world, which operates and survives by that light. Ignorance is the cause of pain and misery. The highest and best knowledge is the knowledge of God seated in our hearts. The Upanishads say that the Atman is like a flame of the size of the thumb situated on the right side of the heart. The presence of the Atman allows us to be alive 
and active. The lamp is a symbol of the Atman or the soul in us. As we light the lamps, we pray to God to help us light the lamp of knowledge in our hearts so that we can see him. As the light disperses darkness, knowledge dispels ignorance. The lamps that are lit outside soon go out, but the soul never dies. By being truthful and having virtuous qualities like love, forgiveness and patience, we light the lamp of knowledge in our hearts. Prayer helps us to know our innate divine nature. Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, I am seated in the hearts of all. He sees who sees the Lord abiding equally in all, the undying in the dying. The undying is the Atman and the body, of course, does not live forever. Yet that which is eternal, the Atman, resides in this heart. When we pray and meditate, we understand that we are divine by nature. We also learn about the underlying unity in all of creation. As the same supreme power of God pervades the entire universe. Diwali is an auspicious time to serve the needy. In this way, we worship the living God. Being charitable and offering service are practical ways to help us improve and progress Godward. Diwali also reminds us that God protects his devotees. We may leave God, but God never leaves us. Truthfulness and goodness always overpower evil tendencies. May we live in love, peace, and unity. May we enjoy good health and peace so that we may be able to serve God in all. May God bless the whole world. Please do have a blessed and joyous Diwali. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Mani lag yo tamai ro khod shri dan chod khoda khud vasi Mari akhiya darshan piyasi Mani lag yo tamai ro Yeah.
Om Namo Narayanaya, dear sisters and brothers, on this very auspicious and holy day, we pray to God to grant us strength and courage so that we can face our challenges bravely. O oh Lord, may there be auspiciousness to all. May there be peace to all. May there be fullness to all. May there be good to all. May all become happy. May none be afflicted by desires. May all see auspicious things. May none be subject to suffering. Om, that universal soul is perfect. This individual soul is perfect. From the perfect is the perfect born. Taking the perfect from the perfect, the perfect alone remains. May we be filled with love, peace, and joy. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Sarve Shanti, Swasti Bhavatu, Sarve Hara Hara Maha 